Hey guys, welcome into the Land Rover Series 3 build video as we part one. Time to get this started. So paint-wise, we're going to be painting it uh, Land Rover Marine Blue on the body. And then the wheels and the roof are going to be Land Rover Limestone. So if you want to make this, if you want to build yours accurate, all civilian Land Rovers, I uh, don't, let's just stick with the Series 3 for right now. So I don't know if it if it's the series one and twos but anyway so at least for the series three roof and the wheels were limestone or painted limestone all civilian models no matter what color the body was the wheels roof limestone and i know when i made i made mention in the what's in the box video that there are several different versions you can build you can do the german version you can do a u.s version an ex export version i guess and a uk version so the german version uses has different seats apparently so that explains the multitude of seat options in the kit so the so I just wanted to mention that so you got a German version a UK version a US version and they are an export version I guess whatever I guess export will be German too maybe so I think I'm gonna go the UK route and just build mine as a UK version because you know build it for the home country I mean, that's what I'm gonna do so that I'm going to get started now. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to go about building this. Is I'm not going to do my normal way of uh, pre, uh, pre-sort painting or whatever I call it, where I get uh, put all the parts in the bin and paint you know each color. 184 parts. I'm pretty sure I'll lose a lot of them if I try doing that. And there's some pre, I guess, got to plan ahead building with this one. As a lot of colors are going to be body uh, body color before you even. Get to the body, like interior pieces and stuff for body color, what have you. So I think I'm going to uh, get the body painted, get those parts painted as well, body color, get all the stuff that needs to be body color painted out of the way first. I think, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's get started. So progress has been made on the Land Rover. First, I've got the body in the first coat of paint last night. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to come in and touch up on the panel lines. And then I will do another coat. And then that should be good. Then once I do that, then I'll get the roof painted. Uh, I also got the uh, chassis painted, chassis the frame painted. Uh, get, working on the engine, getting it done. It has paint. It is painted in a sky blue light color. I actually used uh, dots and sky blue or Nissan sky blue. Uh, for the for the engine block. Now there's a couple of things I want to mention real quick. Too. We'll stick with the engine. We'll start with the engine. Engine color. Uh, in the instruction sheet it tells you to paint it uh, an iron light color. That is not going to be correct for my research that I've been doing. I spent a couple of days doing straight up research on the engine block color itself. What I come to con my conclusion that I came away with is that the engine block was offered and was painted in three different colors. The early models of the Series 3 were in a ducktail green color. The mid years, it seems like, was sky blue. In the later years, uh, I believe the color is like called terra furto, terra photo, terra furta, something like that. It's a reddish type color. So, those are the engine block colors you can choose from. Now, don't quote me on as that is a factual statement. That is just the research I have came across reading a bunch of uh, Land Rover uh, forums and seeing pictures and. People that seem to be knowledgeable have stated. Again, I don't know how factual that is. Second thing I want to mention too in the instructions, like I mentioned this in the first part, I'm going to do the um, building the UK version. In the instruction ver in the instruction book, it tells you only use these uh, pattern style seats for the German version. That doesn't seem to be correct. I spent a lot of time also looking at UK based Land Rovers Series threes. And all the ones that almost every single one that I could find, based this type model, the station wagon, the long wheelbase station wagon, uh, twelve seat, what, the twelve seater, this exact model that we're building, almost every one I came across that was UK based had these this pattern for the seats. So basically, do what you want with the seats. Use whatever seat you want. I don't think I don't honestly I don't if it I can't find anything where it says that those seats were only used for or any so. I don't know. Do what you want. It'll be accurate, I think. Uh, and also getting the interior bits, or getting the interior uh, floor painted, because uh, it's a mix of body color and black. So getting it color or painted body color, getting all the rest of the body color 
are getting the rest of the pieces that need to be painted body color and body color. So I'm going to do a, a clear coat on these just to give them a little bit of protection. Then I can then I'm going to mask the door panels off, paint them black, and get this done. It is I want to get this done before the end of the year because it is almost getting close to the end of the year. So we'll, a couple of things we're going to do real quick. Let's get the engine um, put back, finish getting the parts attached to the engine, and then maybe we'll work on the. Uh, the uh, frame. Fun fact about the engine block, I never actually glued it together. It was it's, it put, went together very nice and had a very nice tight fitting. Let me know if that matters. I don't think it does. I just felt like sharing that with you guys for whatever reason. need the suggestion manual for a second. Careful with this little piece right here. This is piece uh, part number six on tree B. Be careful with it. I broke the bottom part of it off, the hose part. It's kind of fragile. Just be careful with it. Be gentle with it. When you're going to attach the transmission. And my test fitting transmission doesn't fit great okay so there's the engine for right now pretty good and the wheels are painted up in the uh, line so that you can see a look at get a look at them. No, I haven't clear coated them or anything. That's just straight uh, paint right now. Over, I actually did a did, a, did that over uh, to me is gloss aluminum as a base. All right, now let's get some of the uh, exhaust I painted as well. Several different colors of metalizer. The exhaust pipe to the frame. So let's do that real quick. Out. Added up to the, mounted to the frame. 